talking about mm -hmm. actually speeding up a little bit okay. so that we might be able to eke out some good trick or treating, but it's all oh, about yeah. waiting out that rain for the kiddos and it might be, you know, make it, they might get a little impatient on you, but want to make sure you don't get them out in that lightning. And we may have some thunderstorms to contend with later on tomorrow, but right now no thunder, uh, but we are seeing some light rain across the upstate currently. It was a little bit heavier across the northern part of the upstate earlier, prompting some flood advisories. Conditions have improved, but now we're saturated. A lot of the area really can't take a lot more water. And as that continues into tonight, we could see some isolated flooding toward tomorrow morning. Again, not expecting any major issues out of that, but notice that we've got some spotty showers, some heavy downpours around 6 a.m. on Thursday. Here comes the main event, though. This is what could mess with trick or treating, but the good news is that the models are again starting to speed this up a little bit. Here's noon, so lunchtime, not expecting thunderstorms yet in the upstate, but could be pushing into western North Carolina and shouldn't be all that severe just yet, but some heavy downpours, some rumbles of thunder. And then notice what happens here, 3 p.m., Okay, this is bad timing, I realize. So you got to get the kids from school. Maybe you're coming home from work early to get ready for the trick-or-treaters. Uh, you're going to likely run into some heavy rain at this point, but it will be on its way out pretty quickly. So by 5 p.m., as the second dairy rush hour comes through and as the kids are gearing up to do some of that trick-or-treating, most of the heavy rain is out. Notice there's a little scattered shower activity on the back edge, but nothing that's going to cause a lot of major issues for the kiddos out there. And the clouds will begin to clear out. It will start to turn a little cooler, so they may need the jackets as the sun is going down, but at least the torrential rain should be done. And notice you may have seen a few little blue specks here and there up in the mountains. We may get a few flurries of snow up in western North Carolina by the time we get toward late tomorrow night into the early part of Friday. Nothing that's going to cause issues, but just goes to show you how cold that air is going to be. So here's a look at that timeline once again, just kind of in a nutshell, really the early part of the afternoon for the western areas, middle to late afternoon in the central part of the upstate. I think it could linger as late as 7 p.m., but most of the models have the line pretty much to the east around 7 o'clock. So salvaging some of the trick or treating. Now there will be a severe weather threat with that line. We're in a slight risk. The better risk for tornadoes, damaging wind will be where you see this red color here in the enhanced risk. We're still going to have to watch out in our area. There will be a heightened risk of especially damaging wind along that line. A tornado risk is not zero, but it's at the lower side. We'll just have to watch any storms that get going. Can't rule out an isolated tornado at some point tomorrow. So we'll be watching low hail threat and the flooding threat will be at about moderate because of the fact that we've seen uh, some of that heavier rain already throughout the day uh, today and into the evening hours. So more rain on Thursday, showers in the morning, thunderstorms for the afternoon with temperatures warming into the 70s. It's that warmer, more humid air that's really going to help to feed these showers and thunderstorms as they move through. So on the Carolina Sky Meter, ooh, a two. I don't give that low of a rating very often and I can't stand that it's on Halloween, but the good news is it's not a zero or a one. We're going to see the storms move out, hopefully by around 6 to 7 p.m., salvaging a very small part of the day, but one of the most important parts as the kids get out to do some trick or treating. Of course, you'll want to check in on the morning news from 430 to 9 for the latest on your forecast as you are stepping out the door, guys.